Welcome back to Entertainment Today. Still to come, Carla brings us all the latest news on Britney. But first, we're joined by TV's Richard Arnold again. Back to talk about the biggest show at the weekend. I can only apologise for that. I am indeed. We've <laughs> seen hula hoop troops, escapologists and even people playing the saw. But by far the most unique act ever seen on Britain's Got Talent must be Annie Melgique. I got it! Uh, the husband and wife team who perform magic tricks with animals. And I'm not talking about the Stapletons at the weekend. Now, normally, Michael, you get me blabbing on true. about what's on the box. Constantly. But I've actually brought the chaps in. Annie Magic, can we have a quiet word? It's Claire and Steve Lugo and Peach is the owl. Look at that. Good morning to you guys. Welcome to the ET sofa. Oh, now, I know you've got through on the skin of your teeth. I missed this because when I was on my jolly holiday. So, for those of you who also missed it at home, here's the guys in action last week. If you know what I'm saying, that is a big bird. Oh, that's <laughs> teeny tiny. Teeny and it's huge. Teeny tiny, so yeah. It's but not the biggest animal you have. <laughs> Oh, no, we've got a German Shepherd. Oh, as we <laughs> mentioned. You don't Everybody squeeze that into that box, do you? Oh, no, he doesn't no. work on stage. Oh, good, right, OK, OK. But you want something like that, you think they don't make TV like that anymore. And sure there's a strong it? argument yeah. for not doing it, but, but you <laughs> two have broken the mould. It's the Euro, the Euro pop um, yeah. uh, sort of soundtrack, isn't it, that we loved in between. But I gather um, a little secret, which you told me backstage, was the fact that you, you'd never actually performed the act at all, had you, in, in front no. of the mum? No, no. Uh, so it was the first time the two of you were yeah. together. Yeah, we've done, we've done comedy magic, pantomimes, interactive shows with the animals, but the illusion show. That was the first time we'd ever performed it, and it happened to be in front of Simon Cowell. <laughs> in front of Simon Cowell and <laughs> millions wow. of viewers. That, that's the way to do it, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Uh, what did make you do that audition to go along? What? I've had such faith in Steve, that is the honest truth, and I knew Steve's ambitions were so strong. And when we met, that is what we wanted to do, and it was the reason we met. So when this opportunity came up, I just, I got the application forms, I pushed it. Claire and then when it, it all started happening, thought, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> have now I we've got to put something thought? together. And yeah. Yeah. Together. We had a phone call the following day saying, Come you're to auditioning audition. next week. I could have killed her. Was it that quick? It was, it was that, that quick. quick. That that there are quick, three of yeah. you in this relationship currently, but I gather you've got some 54 pets at home, is that right? That's yeah. right. Well, where do you put them all? All over the house. They're all over the house, they're in our gardens, we've got areas full of all the uh, areas where do you sleep? the birds. <laughs> On the settee. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> we do, yeah. We obviously used to sleep in the bed, but with eight cats running over you, we thought, oh, forget it. So we sleep on the settee, you know, the cats have the cats bed. Have and the bedroom. Oh, it must be a bit ripe in your house. We're going to have to get the council round. Do you know what no, it's not? Because we know. are fanatical, and people come in and they say, where are the animals? Because they're all sort of quiet and to themselves, and they're all sectioned off. Yeah. And we're fanatically clean, because I would hate to walk into someone's house and smell it like that. Yep. A lot of people have come in and said, I've, I've been into a house and they've got a dog and it smells worse than this, and we've got... A whole menagerie of yeah. yeah. pets. I, I don't want to lower the tone, obviously. Right. But yeah. That's usually my job. <laughs> exactly, it's normally Richard's job. But working with animals on stage, I mean, things must happen. I mean, animals, you know, they do stuff. And Have you had any accidents with oh, animals on stage? Oh, we occasionally get messed on. Oh, right. That's, yeah, it's that's the worst thing. Usually her. Oh, <laughs> this brilliant. One here, yes, sir. Don't, don't damage the sofa. No, we've no, been told that actually Peaches has not relieved herself yet this morning. So <laughs> he hasn't. You, so. Blue Peter, and Elephant. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no. Years of clips and replays <laughs> of that. Now, you're a great trio here, but obviously uh, the pair of you work together very closely. You're yeah. married. Uh, yeah. Any tips? Have you ever fallen out? No, only if I see an animal, I say, could I have that one? And Claire will say, yes, if I can have that one. And I'll say, well, why do we want two? Why not just get that? And we end because up with I a want two. One as well. So. <laughs> well, I have to say, you've been an absolute treat. It's taken me right back to 1985. It's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? It's fantastic, <laughs> Which is guys. no bad thing. <laughs> I, don't I know so. that you, you've made it through to the semi finals so good luck. We'll be watching your progress very carefully and seeing well, how well, it goes. Well, we get to find out. Yes, really? Sure. No. no, you're joking. Have I just ruined TV gold? Let me no, find out. Not at all. Have you No, apparently we don't know either. So there you go. It's fine. It's fine. Well, good luck anyway. Hopefully it'll all work out. Out for you, and we'll see you with your animals, your larger animals. Yeah. Oh, that's safe. it. You yeah, wait. This face. And I've got to get your hairdresser's number. <laughs> <laughs> Is that no. to shoot him? <laughs> now, leave it. Don't set him off. Don't set him off. Uh, now, though, we've got just enough time to cross back over to LA to Carla Romano to find out exactly what the talk of Tansel Team. Tansel Team. Tinsel Town is today. Let's get to Hollywood.